Hey everyone, today we're gonna to talk about your hotspots. Hey David, what causes image hotspots and hot pixels on digital sensors? So there's a bunch of different causes, and the first one to know is that any camera that you buy, any digital camera, is going to arrive in your hands unused, brand new, with hot spots and hot pixels. And that's just a byproduct of the pixel and sensor manufacturing process. Every sensor has some number of faulty pixels, and the manufacturers have a, a um, they test the sensors after they're produced, and then they have a failure rate percentage where if a number of pixels greater than this rate fails the testing, that sensor doesn't get sent off to the, the camera manufacturer to be used. So every sensor will have some number of hot pixels. If you have 31 million pixels on your sensor and a thousand of them are bad, you're not going to notice in most situations 99% of the time. But over time with age, with heat and with use, pixels will malfunction. So if you do astrophotography like I do, and you just set your camera up to take photos for three hours at a rate of two photos a minute, over the course of that, you'll notice an increased number of hot pixels in your images. And when the sensor cools down the next day, those, most of those hot pixels will go away. So that's from heat and use at the same time. And over the age of the sensor, some number of pixels will just die and they'll always report back at a full color rating of the color that they see, which is why some, some old cameras will have red, green, or blue dots on the images in random places that are always the same from photo to photo. So what can you do about that? You can either spend your entire life cloning out individual pixels, you know, 3,000 at a time on every single image, or most DSLRs have a pixel mapping function. All of my Pentaxes do, and I assume that Nikon, Canon, and Sony do as well. So periodically, uh, I do it no less often than once a year, I'll run pixel mapping. And what that does is allow my camera to look through the, all the pixels on the sensor, figure out which ones are dead, and then it says, I'm not going to take data from these dead pixels anymore. And we'll extrapolate the data for that pixel from everything that's around it. And like I said, if you have 20 or 30 million pixels on your image, and your camera finds 50 or 80 new dead ones every year, you're gonna be many, many decades before there's any noticeable consequence uh, to your images from dead pixels. So that's the cause of it. And uh, fortunately for, uh, for most cameras, it's pretty easy to rectify and it's just a matter of having the discipline, reminding yourself maybe on your birthday when you switch the battery and the smoke detector to also do a pixel mapping on your camera.